Hey everyone. So one of the things that I have absolutely loved about this channel and didn't expect when I was first starting it uh, was all the connections I'm making with people online. So many people have reached out to me with suggestions for patches or ways to approach things or just great comments on the videos. But recently I got something that just blew my mind. So back when I was making the rhythm videos, part eight, I was so impressed my, with myself that I could make all those little dots move to kind of illustrate the rhythms. It took me a really long time to figure out how to do that with video. That's not something that I knew how to do before this channel. But someone reached out to me with a website or a URL, I don't know the exact term for it, a web app that you could use that this person actually made based on those videos where you can actually put in all the different numbers and, and get a visual representation of the rhythm. And it's just, it's mind blowing that someone knows how to do this, but it works really well. And I was really impressed with it. So today I wanna to show it to you and I got permission to put the link down in the description and it's something that maybe you wanna check out. So let's take a look at it. So I'm always just so impressed with people who can program like this. I, computer programming is just one of those skills that I don't have and I kind of wish I did. So maybe at some point I'll, I'll uh, commit to learning it. But either way, this is just awesome. These are just like the dots that I was using on my video. If you go down through here, you can set the subdivisions for the rhythms. And I mean, it's just cool. Let's check it out. So we have or logic. And if we set this subdivision, let's put it at, I think I was using three and two in my video. So let's just do three and two. I had rhythm three and four off. And the steps in the sequence, even though I know that the, I imagine that he or she did this because rather than just writing four steps in the sequence, this person chose eight because in my video, I was using how many steps in the mother. So I imagine that that's why it's like that guessing go all the way up to 16 let's check out eight so here you have rhythm one rhythm two and then this is the or rhythm and this is exactly like i had in the video and then the xor yep you can see just like in the video i highlighted that there are those groupings of three hits so i mean <laughs> this would have made making that video quite a bit easier rather than doing it through uh photoshop and premiere but Either way, I'm just so excited for this. You can, because you can mix in three rhythms and let's see what happens if I do a subdivision of four here. And you get this cool XOR polyrhythm. This is the OR polyrhythm. Let's add in another one at five. Whoa, check this out. <laughs> Yeah, so it would be 120 steps before this polyrhythm repeated. Super cool stuff. So I can't wait to dig in and experiment with this a little bit more, you know, just try and see what some of these things sound like. I was just blown away that someone reached out to me, you know, with these videos inspiring them to make this website. It made me really happy and I wanted to share it and I hope that you get some use out of it. Once again, I just wanna thank you, thank you, thank you for making this. Thank you for reaching out and showing it to me and giving me permission to make this video. I truly appreciate that as I'm sure all of the viewers out there on YouTube land do as well. Let me know what you think of this in the comments section and thanks for watching.